Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial and today we're looking at the Naviate rebar extension. So this is the latest update to the old Revit extensions from 2018. Um, I will put a link in my bio so you can download it, it is free. Um, and today we're going to look at the continuous footing controls to add automatically placed reinforcement. So I've got a little corner configuration, I've got continuous footings here. I can select my Naviate tab check continuous footings and it will open up a little dialog box now it's telling me that the select elements have different geometrical parameters so I'm just going to do one at a time so I'm going to select this one navigate continuous footings and first things first I'm going to go to file double check your regional settings in this instance I'm working on the UK BS 866 2005 code um, and let's look at the dialog box. So this gives me, it will identify the family. It will also look at the position of the wall above, so it knows that it is a retaining wall above. Um, and we look at the main bars. So first of all, we've got a reinforcement type. So whether we're going with a cage, just a bottom bar. So I'm going to go with a cage reinforcement. We've got the lengths and the distances. So you can see that the distances between there A and R. So that is the distances here. So you could say, let's say set that to 50 and 50. The main bars are going to be 8 millimeter. We can hook them or not. So I'm going to hook mine 135. And then the spacing I'm going to say is 300 millimeters. And if we go to the longitudinal bars. So again, you can go at the bottom. So 10s, top and bottom here. Whether we're hooking them or not. And then the number of bars. So I'm going to leave mine at 3 both sides. And you can use these little options here which will extend the bars out either side of the footing but again I'm going to keep mine okay and then whether we're going to have any starter bars or dowel definitions so here I can define them yes or no define the cover and you can choose a dowel type I'm going to go with just the standard U bar 10 millimeter diameter no hooks spacing I'm going to match that to the spacing in my main bars which is 300 so under my dowels they're going to be 300 spacing and then the anchorage length actually in the wall so you can see here 30 centimeters and I'm going to save that configuration um, just for calling on another project click save and then we click OK and that will reinforce that I'm going to select this one navigate continuous footings and I'm going to preload my saved file you can see that it's not compatible so it will only work if the footings are the same so on this one I'm going to quickly go through set these to 300 they were tens we said 50 50 longitudinal bars let's say 8 and 8 no hooks and then the dowel definition with a 10 mil bar and the spacing 300 select OK and that will reinforce now with all the reinforcement because it's hidden inside the element I'm going to use the Excitec toolkit that I've got and make it unobscured and then make solid and you will see there we have our reinforcement done from our continuous footing up in to our wall so really quick and easy just jump in navigate and then use your continuous footing tool 